The reason modern dating sucks so bad is because there is a high concentration on money and sex. So if you a good man or a good woman out here and you want somebody, you want to settle down, you want a serious commitment, take sex off the table. Take spending your money recklessly off the table. I wouldn't want to be out here dating outside of God's covering because the world we live in today, y'all already know it's wicked. It's, it's real backwards, upside down, inside out and everything in between. A lot of stuff don't really make sense in this world, which is why the Bible says to lean not on your, un your own understanding. I got a clip I want to show y'all. Um, it's a, a conversation that illustrates what dating has become for a lot of people in this world. And, um, of course, we're talking about the topic of money. We're talking about the topic of modern women, which it seems like it's just another word for a city girl or you know, just the manipulative type of woman that's running around. You know what I'm saying? It seems like anytime somebody put that in the title of a video, that's what type of woman they talking about. And I know that not all women are like this. And truth be told, this is one of the reasons why I cover these type of videos, because it's important to put a face to these terms, right? So that's what I'm doing today. But before... I get into this because, you know, we talking about the topic of, of a man and, and him providing and, and, you know, just spending money on a woman. I got to let it be known that I'm not against a man doing what he's supposed to do as a man. A man is supposed to provide. A woman shouldn't deal with a man that can't provide. Right. But. Let me let's be specific about what we talking about when we're, we're talking about providing. Right here in 1 Timothy uh, chapter 5, verse 8, it said, But if anyone does not provide for his, for his own family, especially for his own household, again, for his own household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. So it's plain to see right here in the Bible that a man is supposed to be a provider. But it's specific to a woman that is his own family or in his own household, a woman that's his wife, his children. You know what I'm saying? If, if it's a widow in his family, then that's who we're talking about. We ain't talking about just some dude that you just met and you feel like because you graced him with your presence, he's supposed to pay for your nails. That's not what the Bible is talking about. And I would advise against any man dealing with a woman like that. I got scripture that's going to back that up too. Y'all already know how I rock. But before we go too deep, let me go ahead and get into this video I want to show y'all. I will take a duck money wow. and do whatever for my I like you, Shawna. <laughs> so, if you hear what she just said, she said she would take a duck's money and do whatever for her dude. Right? She using the N-word and I got all that bleep dot because I don't want to, you know, I'm trying to be clean. <laughs> but basically what she said was she'll take a dude that don't know no better, a simp or uh, somebody, a sucker. She'll take money from him and she'll spend it on the dude that she really like. And if we being honest, the reason so many men are tight in the pocket is because of this type of situation. Because there are women out here that exist. This ain't a one of one. You know, it's a lot of women out here like that, right? And they they have a look. They have certain behaviors. You know what I'm saying? They have certain personalities. And if you're a man that wants a good woman, you want a wife, and you're a good man, you need to stay away from this kind of woman. <laughs> with, <laughs> you need to do everything in your power to make sure you don't end up with a woman like this. And that's why it's important for a man to vet a woman, right? For these reasons, if you're a woman out there in this world and you got a brother, you got a son, you know what I'm saying? You got uncles, cousins that you care about. You would definitely tell 
that those men that you care about, those young boys or whoever it is that you care about to stay away from this kind of woman. So this is not woman bashing. I want to make that clear. This is not woman bashing. This is behavior that I'm bashing, right? I just got to make that clear because, you know, we, we dealing with people that get sensitive and stuff like that. And, you know, my thing ain't to, to just, you know, put my foot on people's neck. You know, but it is my intentions to educate and, and open people's eyes. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I got to reiterate that. But let's continue. I ain't the duck, though. I ain't. I'm saying that, but he wasn't with it. Okay. It's not even about being with it. It's just like a respect thing. As long as you're not fucking, because this is out here. You don't have to fuck everything for you money. You don't. Period. Yeah, you, do. you can pull up on a nigga getting five, ten thousand dollars. You just got to be that. And that's that pretty what privilege. What world is that? Who doing pretty that? Pretty privilege. Doing Thank that. you. Out here? Okay, okay, look. Yeah, that must have been during the pandemic. Uh, nigga do that. Hello. Yeah, it's okay. like anywhere. <laughs> wow. Hey, look, look, when a nigga do that, do y'all look at him like he, like he a sucker? Like No. Y'all can't look at him like that's this. That's generous. That's, that's generous. That's a generous mother. Really? Niggas right there. like that. You would want to be around. I also got to say this. That for these women... The reason they behave like that is because there is a lot of dumb dudes that do this. <laughs> they think that they can they can have that. They think that this exists and, and they're they have they have access to it because in, a lot of them have been having access to it, right? But we got to understand the motive behind that, right? If my I got two daughters, if my daughters come to me and tell me, Daddy, a man that I just started talking to gave me $10,000, I'm going to be wondering what she had to do in return. What she going to have to do if she ain't already did it, she going to have to pay. Ain't nothing free. So my antennas perk up when I hear a woman talking about how much money a man done gave her. She going to have to do something. <laughs> ain't no man breaking no woman off with thousands of dollars and ain't expecting nothing in return. Right? Like that before anything. Before anything. Because you know, if anything happened, you could call him and he gonna pull up with it. For sure. Yeah, he ain't expecting nothing. Mm -hmm. he, ain't he, might, nothing. he might expect something, but he gonna let it happen naturally. He's not getting no pussy because they force. They be pressed. Like force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They be pressed. They be pressed about it. Yeah. I don't gotta spend one dollar, right? I could I could use it just off my face card game. Sometimes you gotta pay a bitch off. It gotta be transactional. I like the thrill of this shit. Like if I if I give you ten thousand, that means that's another thing. First of all, I just want to point to this. You see that this whole conversation they're talking about two things in particular: money and sex. That's what a lot of modern dating is focused on. Men wanting sex, women wanting money. Just like she said, transactional relationships. That's why they so easily broken. That's why so many women getting cheated on. That's why the STD rates are growing. Because it's, it's really based on like, let's just be honest, it's prostitution. Again, we're not talking about a man taking care of his wife. Or even a man doing stuff for his girlfriend. We talking about the expectation of certain women coming into a not even a relationship, just just getting to know a guy early on in the in the hey how you doing phase. <laughs> That's y'all barely got past hey how you doing, and she already expect money, gifts, bills being paid, and stuff like that. That's prostitution. And you can tell yourself, oh, I'm not going to have to do nothing for this. Yes, you are. Unless you cut the dude off and right there, you just let it be known that you're using the man. Which is a reason why so many men are like, absolutely not. I will not pay for no woman this and I will not pay for that. And I will not do this for a woman. And she going to get an ice cream date. Ain't no way I'm taking her to Ruth Chris. She better be happy with Applebee's. All that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of men... What's the worst thing that can happen to a man? He can get used for his money. What's one of the worst things that can happen to a woman? When she, when she trying to date and she trying to find somebody to love, she can get used for sex. Neither one of us want to be used for those things. Right? 
So we got to be prepared and we got to move accordingly so that we don't end up getting used. Right? <laughs> but again, in this day and age, if you ain't doing nothing for me, then I'm, I can't be interested in you. Right? And I ain't mad about that. I'm happy that it's like that. I'm happy that women like this are bold enough to say, hey, look, you're going to have to take care of me. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do that. Why am I happy about that? Because it ain't no guesswork. If you a man and you looking for a woman, you trying to be serious, you a good man at that. Soon as you go to you hear you soon as you hear her talking like this, you know to pack your grip and, and get and get up out of there. You know that this ain't a woman that I need to even continue having no conversation with. She done told you where she stand. The problem is a lot of dudes get caught up in lust. <laughs> like Shannon Sharp say, he want a sinner. The promise or, or the, the thought of what this sex, this payoff is going to be like, keep dudes going. Because they ain't in control of they said so they have no sexual discipline. And they out there looking for it. And, and let's, be, let's be real. There's a lot of men that don't mind paying if it's going to give them a fast track to the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say, man, ladies, don't be don't be impressed by a man money. Because just because he spend money on you, if you could be a good woman out here and you, and you come across a man and he like he like what he see. So he decide, oh, I'm going to start breaking you off. I'm going to start doing this for you. I'm going to start doing that for you because I know that that's going to make me be able to get you in the bed faster. Right. If you're a good woman and you want a husband, don't think that you got a, a good man, a good provider, and he really like you a lot of times. You know, a lot of times it's just, oh, I'm finna break off because I, I don't I got money. This don't mean nothing to me. So let me break you off and get it out the way. Just because you get a man money don't always mean you got somebody that's serious about you. You got somebody that got money and don't mind spending it to get what you want. And there's all kind of videos out there where there's men that are successful that will tell you that off the rip. Just as, as bold as these women are being by saying that they want a man that got money, there's men that are equally as bold in saying that all I care about is getting that boss. And I got plenty of money. So guess what? I don't want to do no talking. I don't want to date you. I don't want to go out to eat. Let me pay for your nails. Let me pay for your rent. Let me let me pay for your car payment. And let me go ahead and come to the house tonight when I leave the club. I'm going to make sure I'm good and drunk because I'm going to give you that Hennessy thing. I'm going to give it to you good and I want it raw. <laughs> All of that. That's what they, that's what they own. So we got to understand what we're dealing with. Women, don't be out here acting, being naive and thinking that just because a man spend money on you, he really like you. Men, don't be out here being naive and thinking just because a woman bat her eyes at you and answer your text message that she really like you. It's, like, it's, it's women out here that would get y'all around here. Oh, oh, I just want to help her. And, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, she may be nice. She may be, you know, really needing help. But it's enough of these type of women out there in these streets to make you think twice. And the Bible tell you, <laughs> the Bible got proper instruction on how a man is supposed to behave. You're supposed to be taking care of your wife. And if you're in a serious, committed relationship, then of course, beat up for your woman. Show her that I am capable of being a man that you can depend on. But no, nah, don't be out here just, you know, being transactional with it. As soon as you meet the woman, you are already paying for things. No, nah, uh -uh. I understand that there's, there's going to be some women that follow me that's going to be like, nah, shoot, mate, you wrong on that. A man should. OK, that's how you feel. As a man, if I was the, if I was single and I and I was interested, I met a woman at the gas station or the library or wherever I was at. Let's say I met a woman. I said, hey, how you doing? I like to get to know you. My name is this. What's your name? We do all the pleasantries. We talk. We text a little bit on the phone. Within a few days, you know, I say, you know what? We having good conversation. I want to take you out. If that's if, if your next text is, OK, I need this and I need that and I need this and I need that. You let me know that me and you ain't cut out for each other. We on different paths. <laughs> And it ain't no hard feelings. I ain't mad. I ain't upset. It's just 
you on your path and I'm on mine. And we go our separate ways. All right, I automatically know my mind. She gonna give some pussy one day. Like, I want to use my motherfucking face, my game. Like, see where I'm at. Everybody don't have that. Facts. I get that. And some men just like spending money. They yeah, have it. So, before I go, I want to show y'all this scripture too. Because, again, there's a lot of women, and, and this is the reason why you should be weary of a woman that's completely about the money. You should be weary about a person, period, that's completely about the money. First Timothy 6, verse 10 says, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. That is what a lot of these women that's based on this money vibe and they want to get paid and broke off and it's transactional. That's what type of stuff they got coming from them. They got many sorrows coming because they out here basically prostituting. They, they out here dealing with dudes that if make them angry. They done spent so much money on you. And then you got the nerve to act like you ain't finna go ahead and give up what you supposed to give up. And they mind supposed to give up. You, you putting yourself in danger because some of these dudes ain't playing about their money. Also, another scripture I got to show y'all. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 10. The one who loves silver is never satisfied with silver. And whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with income. This too is futile. When good things increase, the ones who consume them multiply. This right here is another reason why when a man get his money right, a lot of women, they, they have access to all these women and they start feeling good about themselves. Nah, don't fool yourself. Those women are after you because you have money, because you are dealing with those type of women. Shannon Sharp is a good example. You know, we already done covered that in a video I put out yesterday. A lot of these men get on, get right, get their money right, get stable. And guess what they do? They go to Holland by I want a center. You think you, you, you think you doing it. You think you the man. She there for the money, bro. <laughs> so I made this video and y'all can tell I'm rushing. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but I got to um, make this known. I got to say this. The reason modern dating sucks so bad is because there is a high concentration, a big focus on a lot of women feeling like they got to be able to get what they can out of a man. And then on the other side, there's a lot of men that feel like they got to get what they can out of a woman. And most of the time is focused on these two things that I just said, money and sex. Right. So if you a good man or a good woman out here and you want somebody, you want to settle down, you want a serious commitment. What do you do? Take sex off the table. Take spending your money recklessly off the table. Do it God's way, y'all. I would not want to be single and be out here dating without being under God's covering. Godly dating is what we need in this world. Why? Because the world promotes all this stuff to us. Materialism, sexualism, you know, being super sexualized, hookup culture, all these things. People trying to get over on the next person. It's, it's, it's a lot of good people in the world. But you got to know how to maneuver in this world if you are a good person. Otherwise, you get swept up in the mess. That's why it's so hard for good men and good women to find each other because it's so muddy out here. And we out here, we got to maneuver around sexy red and Sukiyana and modern woman this and modern man that. And I want sex this and I want your money that. Y'all got to move accordingly. Right. Do it God's way. And I guarantee you, your, your results will be a lot better. But that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all on the next one.